Hello everyone, welcome to your own channel, Theoretical Contest Matter Physics. And today, what you have seen in title that you have been using Burai blindly is not a false alarm. Okay, you really have been using Burai blindly, and there have been, there could have been some wrong things. Today, I will show you exactly that, and I will also show you how to solve that particular problem. Okay. Uh, in the screen, you can see there is a CIF file of a very known, very tested material, BATI O3. So, let me open it via Burai. Okay, here is it. And you can see the structure, the Burai says, it is orthorhombic base centered, right? Okay, here are the atoms. Uh, you can make it crystal or anything else. It doesn't matter. I will just stay focused into the main problem that I am going to discuss here. So, you can see that structure is orthorhombic and hence, uh, if you check the input file of quantum espresso, it exactly says eyebrow equal to 9, which is for orthorhombic base centered. But, let me now open this particular structure, this very structure using Vesta, right? And Vesta is a very tested software, a trademark software of CIF file, of any crystallographic information file or XYZ file or VASP file, whatever you might say, Vesta is a benchmark, right? So, let me now open it via Vesta, right? So, see, here is Vesta and now let me show you the unit cell for that, okay? And you can see, if you check the lattice parameters, the lattice parameters of the cell are A is 7.38094, B is also same as A, but C is different, that is okay. Uh, alpha is 90 degree, beta is 90 degree, and gamma is 146.3955 degrees, or in short, it is not 90 degree. And hence, the structure is not clearly orthorhombic, right? So, that is one thing that you have to take care of, okay? Now, if you just go to Burai, another problem that I can show you is, so let me just, uh, do this okay let me just close the input file you can see a is 7.38 right but here a is 1.41 into 10 to the power 1 which is actually 14.13 and b is 7.38 but here b is 4.26 something and c is uh, right 10.75 so c is good so that is a problem right so how can i solve this now tell me what structure is this? A, B, C are there, alpha, beta are 90 degree and gamma is different. This is monoclinic, right? So let me just make it monoclinic here. Um, okay, so there is monoclinic unique axis C, okay. So C is different actually here. And now if I do this, you can see the structure is not really the same as before. Uh, I mean, if I do just it, so, in orthorhombic, uh, if I just make it orthorhombic, the structure you can see is like that, right? See, you can see this particular shape here, diamond-like structure. But if I just make it monoclinic, uh, let's say this one, it, it actually changes structure, which is not actually what we want. We want the structure to remain same because if you see the structure in Vesta, the structure is actually diamond-like, right? Which is a, a property of monoclinic structure. So what we can really do here is, so let me just edit it, uh, unit cell, okay. So now just copy A, copy, copy it here, okay. Now B is also same as A, so I will also just paste it that. And C is this one, so let me just copy it and paste, okay. Now, there is gamma, right? In gamma, we will put this. Uh, here we have gamma. Now, if you see the structure, now you can see the structure is clearly monoclinic. The exact structure that you want. And also in Vesta, the structure is just the same as this one. So, keep in mind, Burai is not always right and you have to take care of your input files. So, that's uh, all for today. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, okay? Your like and your subscription 
is the fuel that runs our channel. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot.